Hello, going to go through and take a look at the PC Windows 11 settings for Forza Motorsport, for Tora ASCC, for the upcoming <coughs> ASCC round, which is intended to feature patchy fog. For the purpose of this test, I will go to the track that is next up on the schedule, which is Indianapolis GP. I can get my arrow keys to cooperate here. There we go. And we will do a single lap. The time of the day for this is meant to be 12 noon, so I'll just leave it at noon. And we'll put this to 2 and set this to patchy fog. All right. Turn the driver tires off because we don't need them. Actually, let's leave them on. I'm also going to go through my video settings beforehand. You can see it's quite foggy in the preview. Going into my settings now, here is the display settings that I am currently running on an NVIDIA RTX 3070 and a, I think, 13700i7, I want to say. Let's just verify that real quick. Yeah, 13700. And we have here the RTX 3070. All right. So, nothing too crazy there. I currently have shadow quality on high, cube map on high as well. This is how I always play. Uh, let's see what I have particle effects on high right now. I'll turn it up to ultra just for maximum difference. No warning there about changing anything to get it to reset. And we'll now take a look. I'm going to let the AI drive. Game audio is off. It's definitely foggy, but you can quite easily see brake lights and the other cars. Again, this is not me driving. This is the AI driving. Just so I can be fully looking around at everything. You can always see that the cars are there. They never fade into the background. That leading car is quite a ways away, but I can still see it. And at the point at which it becomes indistinguishable, it's so far away that I don't actually need to be able to see it. So I think that's enough for that point. So now let's go into the display settings, graphics settings rather, and go into the particle effects and turn it down to low. And then take a look. And just for full comparison's sake, I will completely exit the race and then go back. Not convinced that's actually necessary, but we'll take a look just to be sure. Same car, same setup, as I didn't change anything. And I will look at the settings one more time just to make sure that what I believe I have set is indeed correct, although I have no reason to think it isn't. Still looks very foggy. So now let's go into the settings, go to our graphics, it's the same as before. The only difference is particle effects is now at low instead of at ultra. Starting that race now. Again, this is the AI driving, not me. It's still pretty foggy. It looks like the highest fog is actually worse turned down. And then the lowest fog is a little better. But I don't really have any hard time seeing cars. I don't have a really easy
easier time seeing something I couldn't see before. It's all still there. Maybe I can see little details on liveries better, but that's not really relevant for this. So let's just let this lap finish. Again, this is the AI driving, not me. Brake lights on cars where you can normally see them are quite easy to see, even some distance ahead. Dreadful corner there from the AI. Yeah, unless there's another setting that is meant to make this lessened, I don't understand what the big difference is here because that looked pretty much indistinguishable for me. Uh, I will now save the replay. Call it test, because that's what it is. And we do know that single player replays always do save. So the other concern was that for streaming, it will be hard to see the details of patchy fog. So let's load that up and take a look. I mean, it's definitely foggy, and ghosting was on, so that will cause a little bit of fading from the cars, but the car that is currently in focus, which is mine, is relatively obscured, but still very visible. You can still see where it is, you can still tell that it's me, and it is exacerbated by the far away cameras. If I switch to game cameras, it's really very easy to see. It's typically how a lot of the streamers tend to do this using the rail camera. We can get quite up close. Oh, not used to this at all. It's uh pretty easy to see here. This looks like the static TV style cameras. Just trying to guess which one I should be at because I have no idea. We'll stay here. Clear the HUD. And this is still with the graphics turned down. You do definitely get a bit of a coming out of the fog uh, going on there. All right. Let me go back and turn the settings back up to ultra as they would appear on a console. I don't know if this actually matters for the replay, but just for science, we will take a look. Turn this back up. Loading up the same replay. And now we'll see. Alright, so this is on ultra particle effects. It really doesn't look any better or worse to me. It's just fog, and fog is a little hard to see in. But you can still tell that there's a race going on. And again, these are ghosted, so they will fade out more than they actually would. Alright. That's all I got.